Hey everyone and welcome back to Construction Simulator in Europe. Between the last episode and this one, I have been having a huge amount of fun with this new Dynapack stuff. I've just been doing contract after contract of the road stuff. And I thought, hey, might as well tape one of them. This is my, gonna be my fourth in a row. These two have rekindled my love for road work. They are so easy to use and are absolutely enjoyable. They're just so maneuverable and quick to use. It just makes it a joy. So I thought I'd jump into this one. This one's a little bit more expensive. Uh, the last couple have been in the roughly $100,000 range. And this one, I believe, is maybe uh, yeah, 300000 But I'm just going to show you how fast it is to do this. Now, I'm doing it hard. Uh, I think I'm averaging maybe $100,000 every... 20 minutes uh, and so uh, if you want to make money this is definitely one of the ways to, to do it i have seen in the facebook groups i think it's facebook groups people saying hey if you want to make money roads are the way to go and you know after doing this for less than an hour and making about half a million bucks i 100 agree with that statement uh, I was looking through the store, see what else is available. So last episode we showed how the Dynapack guys have added two new uh, asphalt uh, pavers, things that put down the asphalt. And they also have uh, two new rollers for asphalt and one for soil. Um, so I was also interested to find out, hey, do they also have planers? And there's actually three more out there. This bow mag I've had since the start of the game uh, isn't the only one. I thought it was. Uh, so actually, let's quickly jump across to the menu while we hit the end here. And uh, yeah, I'll show you in the shop. There's a shop right here. Let's jump into here and we'll sort it by type of thing. And scrolling across quickly. Yeah, so there's uh, a couple of other vendors of the asphalt paver and particularly we own the i want to say we own the cat already but yeah i didn't realize from a coal planner point of view there's actually a couple of other ones they all roughly look the same the one i didn't realize that came out was the sani one when the sani pack came out a year ago six months ago i didn't realize that was added so maybe at some point i should rent another brand rather than using this bow mag saying that the caterpillars on this and everything else makes it so maneuverable it's an absolute joy to use you can uh, turn on the spot pretty easily and get it lined up its width is pretty good uh, in the last episode i was definitely running it too narrow you can definitely run it a lot wider than i was before and with that one strike, we've got 20% already. So hopefully up and back five times, we should be in the right zone. Uh, I might probably just because of whip thing, uh, have to do a little bit on a sick. That's okay. If I was doing this multiplayer, definitely would have a uh, truck out the front to get all this asphalt uh, that's flying out the front. It's worth a fair bit from memory. So yeah, if you do have multiplayer, I highly suggest you put the effort into getting a truck out the front and selling it off much like you would with an excavator and uh, dirt. Yeah, as I said, this is the fourth contract I've done in a row and I am not getting sick of it yet. Definitely one of those things that these new pieces of equipment have definitely rejuvenated the, uh, the enjoyment for it. I've been avoiding these contracts for a long, long time. Get that head up. I don't know whether having the head down or up uh, increases the uh, turn speed, but I've been toggling it anyway. Let's uh, get this far edge done. Well, in light that a lot of the Steam achievements are US centric and you've got to earn a lot of money in the US. I'm tempted to go into the US map, get some of this equipment and just pound through some of the road jobs there. I think uh, this map, we must have done 10 contracts by now, maybe even more. 
I think the last episode was the tenth contract, um, but I'm not sure if I had done uh, more contracts prior to that. I've got a feeling maybe I hadn't. I've got a feeling that maybe I went straight into the campaign and the the uh, contracts you see on the YouTube series is basically the same as the count. Now that's minus the two or three I just did then, uh, just having fun with this new stuff. So yeah, I definitely want to do at least another 10 contracts on here sooner than later so we can get that 25 contracts in uh, Europe. Uh, Steam achievement. Uh, assuming you know, if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, you'd have those achievement systems as well. Yeah, 56 percent after three runs. So yeah, we we aren't doing perfect up and down widths. So we'll have to do a sixth one, but that won't be too hard. You know, after six minutes, we've already made a lot of progress. I think the milling's maybe one of the slower parts. Um, going up and down with the compactor is a little bit slow because it's just so narrow. Uh, at least the width of this is worth maybe one or two blades. But yeah, definitely making good progress. Yeah, I really wish we had that truck. This is one of those situations where like some type of AI helper would be good. Where you could just get the uh, truck to automatically go in front of you or something. I would prefer to drive the planer in an AI situation rather than have them drive the truck and the AI planer keeping up with you. Same problem happens in Farming Simulator where basically the boring thing is what you can do and the fun thing is what the AI uh, can be told to do. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit that light pole just as I said it. I thought uh, I'd be able to make it. It's quite a wide uh, pickup. We do have the Toby Eye Tracker. I haven't actually let's see what interior view looks like. Um, oh, sure. I turned Toby off because uh, it was actually just getting really, really annoying. It wasn't actually providing a benefit. Yeah, when I th bought the Tybee Eye Tracker, I thought it would definitely be used a lot more than it does. Realistically, I'm using it to log into Windows more than anything else. Its range is pretty good. You can be like one or two yards, one or two meters away, and as you walk up, it sees you and logs you in. So that is kind of cool, particularly on a desktop, where traditionally you wouldn't have a camera capable of that. Um, but when it comes to games, I'm just not really using it that much. I've seen a couple of people uh, mention it for American Truck Simulator and that 100% I would agree with. I think that experience is significantly better with the Toby. Mainly because I find that in American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator, I tend to play more European these days, um, you, I, I just find it easier to drive in cabin where with Construction Simulator and Farming Simulator I find that I'm more inclined to do it for a person like this. I think the difference is with American Truck Simulator, you're not really having to look at, you know, an implement as much. It's just, you know, driving on the highway and keeping straight. We're up to 92. Yeah, the last one I did, it was very short. It was this little neighborhood road. It didn't pop to 100 till the last, like, two feet. It wanted probably about, like, 101% of accuracy. Uh, I was a little bit scared that it was going to glitch. It was, it was so close to the line at the end. I was wondering that maybe you know, some edge down by the cobble or something wasn't done correctly. Doesn't that look cool? Uh, let me get the right zoom out. There we go. Get the right thing. There we go. Yeah, definitely a very cool uh, experience. The spout looks a little bit unrealistic. It looks like the stuff is coming um, off out of the middle of nowhere. It doesn't really come out of the, uh, the depth of that spout. I haven't been putting these back into the world, mainly because, as into the shop, 
because uh, I didn't want the asphalt to be sold out of the paver. Um, unfortunately, when you go back, it sells it, and then it's only worth about half of what you put in. So yeah, these three I've been living out in the world. So we can get into the right truck. So yeah, yeah, 10 minutes and we've already done that, so quite productive. This is lovely and wide and very maneuverable. So now I get beached on the uh, curb there a little bit. Once it gets on the flat, it runs fantastic. That left, uh, like, uh, I don't know, fancy type thing is what you need to line up with. So I'm a little bit to the left here. Just have to line it up to on, the, on that cobble to make a beautiful line like that and off we go. Asphalt seems to last a fair while. I haven't had to refill it. I think I've only refilled it once for the two contracts I've done actually. So quite good but it is going to be time to refill it on this one. You can tell it's ready because that front stuff, that front wing goes down flat when it's ready. And that's when uh, the fill up icon's available. Which we can do it from here for, for a while. So that grey steel edge is what I'm lining up against the cobble. I do like how this is not tracks and how it's just normal steering. I mean, I like tracks and all, and it's kind of fun to do tracks and all, but it does get a little bit tiresome uh, with this paver. Maybe because the grip's not there on the same on each track and you're constantly just fighting to make it go straight. And as much as it's realistic, it just gets really annoying really fast. And it gets to the end. Turn it off to help go around the corner. The cornering is terrible. Oops. Uh, you have to do big wide turns uh, a little bit more to the left the camera kind of like in line with that left edge so it's easier to follow yeah you can see this is rapidly getting this done it's really quick and there goes the edge things, once it gets to horizontal, it's time for more. It's really easy to keep it straight. It's, uh, it is, uh, as I said last time, it is a pleasure to drive. It makes asphalting and roadworks actually enjoyable again. I think it's half the reason why I haven't bothered finishing the airstrip, because I just didn't want to have to face uh, so much paving of the airstrip itself. And which is a pity, because once I get after uh, past that contract, I think we're going to get into the buildings, which will be a lot more fun. So hopefully we can get back to that now, in light that the uh, Dynapack stuff's available. Uh, we'll get over that mental hump and get back into it. Loving how it looks. And also loving how the ash belt is lasting a fair while before it runs out. That's interesting, right as we got to the end, it, uh, it ran out. Uh, I haven't left myself with too much space here. I think I can narrow this down a bit. Just do that middle bit. I'm not sure if this is going to be wide enough to do the middle bit. Oh, it's going to be very close. Yeah, the turning circle is very, very... Small, large, I'm sure. Ah, what are you doing? Come on, you can do it. Come on, around you go. Oh, it's not happy. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There it goes. Oh, that was a bit, a bit dicey. All right, are we wide enough? Yeah, I think we're going to be wide enough. It should be okay. I'm not 100% sure that you lose. Come on, why aren't you working? Uh, why aren't you working? I have. Oh, I'm out of stuff. 
I thought I bought new... I could have sworn I filled that up. It's a little bit unstable. But it's kind of working. Yeah, as long as we keep um, those front wheels not going up the edge of the ash valve, it seems to be going okay. 90%. Yeah. Smoke effect's kind of cool, how it blurs all the vision. Yeah, they've done quite a good job uh, representing like the heat of that uh, Apollo asphalt. What are we up to? 96, 97, 98, and 100. Popped up. Nice. Another job done. Then we'll just do a quick. Uh, actually, I'm going to park this over here so it doesn't block traffic. And let's jump across to the compactor and finish this up. Yeah, realistically, we're going to end up with maybe a 20, 25 minutes to get three or four hundred thousand dollars, which is a really, really good rate. And I cooked that a bit, didn't I? that down and off we go yeah the speed's pretty good go a little bit wider I think I was a little bit too close to the cobble there yeah loving it all, it all it's all just coming together the the uh, planer that we've got is pretty good, it's pretty fast, it's maneuverable, and the Dynapack uh, uh, paver is easy to maneuver, pretty fast, holds a lot of capacity, and this roller is pretty good too. I'm going to do a U-turn here, turn that off, make it a bit faster. Not sure whether it's faster to do it faster to do a U-turn or not sometimes. I think with such a wide corner like that, sure it is, but when it comes to in the middle, I don't think it's worth it. Might as well just go backwards and forwards. Yeah, it seems like this is pretty wide. It does have an effect. That's pretty good. We're already at 25%. Wow. So we're about, what, 18 minutes? That's pretty good. We're going to make, what's that? $100,000 every 10 minutes? $600,000 an hour? That's a lot of money in this game. $600,000 an hour is huge. Uh, so we'll go this way, and then this time we'll go backwards. We can uh, see what my backing skills are like. Yeah, once you get it kind of in the right line, it's just basically put the accelerator down and let the steering go. As long as you've got semi straight lines, not too hard. When I first got into this machine one or two contracts ago, I was always steering the wrong direction, but. Now, after an hour or so of practice, it's not too hard at all. 47% already. Yeah, I think I'm going to go through most of this. Oh, I just missed that little bit. I think I'm going to go through most of the contracts to do with roads sooner than later, just because I'm enjoying it. Get them all done. And the money. Hopefully I can, oh I, missed, I still missed that bit, uh, get to that $25 million magic number so that I can get the achievement for having $25 million in Europe. Uh, I'm doing a terrible job getting that onto the line. Yeah, so my goal at this point is do contracts, don't spend money. The good news is I 
think from an equipment point of view, I don't have much to justify to buy. Now, of course, I could always rent something, but that's not fun. Uh, there is an achievement for having every piece of equipment, but I'm pretty sure that achievement only applies when you're in the US map, not in Europe. So there's no real point in me going through all of the brands and adding them to the fleet here. As it is, I do have a lot of multiples already from the multiplayer side of it. And I've got like two or three excavators, two or three dump trucks, two or three cranes. I have put that planer in a terrible position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the far side first. Ooh. All right. I don't know why that decided to do it while I was doing it, but okay. Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Maybe my front wheels have to be on. There it goes. If you look in the bottom right corner, there's a yellow icon. So it's definitely on right now, right? Right? If I jump out, you would assume that it should still be on. Because you didn't really modify it, but it does turn off. So I can hear it, but it works, yet the orange icon is missing. So th that's a bug. So from what I can tell, they think that it's off when you leave the vehicle from an icon point of view. And when you jump out, it sounds quiet. But when you get back in again, it is working. So that looks like, to me, as an inconsistency bug. Because this is definitely working right now and that orange light should be turned on. But uh, it's pretty minor. You can tell just by the sound of it. And also the, uh, the Xbox controller is also vibrating uh, with the force feedback. So I know it's on because of that. But it would be nice if that icon was turned on. Small bug, but you know, fit and finish is important. Can we do this before sunset? I think we can. A little bit offline there. Hopefully it won't be a problem. At worst, we can go back again. Bit of uh, important music going on. Tempo's going up. Game knows we're about to succeed. And 95. Yeah, I think we're going to be good here. And that's going to be another $300,000, I think it is. Ooh, no, and a hundred. There we go. Get that off. And how much money are we going to get here? Yep, $367,000. Where's my guy? Where are you, dude? Fire into boss. Run over here. Finish this off. Get our congratulations. This doesn't give us any money, this part. But we did it all in one day as the sunset. Job completed. Another road. So there you have it. A quick way of earning a cool $360,000 in about 20, 25 minutes. So over $600,000 an hour rate. Right? So uh, within half an hour to an hour, you can afford to buy all this equipment and uh, be in the black after that. So pretty cool. And as I said, I'm loving this Dynapack stuff. It's really easy to use and fun to use. We'll leave it there. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you next time as we continue doing the contracts in the European map of Construction Simulator. See you, everybody.